The innovation and technological advancements deployed in shipping's decarbonisation can only flourish if the conditions are right. The importance of regulations and market forces cannot be understated. Demand is growing from within the private sector for governments and policymakers to be more ambitious. And one company with a long and prestigious history in British shipping is calling for immediate action. When it comes to shipping innovation, Bibby Marine has always had the wind in its sails, from its first sailing ships to its modern-day vessels that service ocean wind farms. Now Bibby has plotted its course towards greener shipping. So at Bibby Line, we've been there from the early sailing ships through to the screw propellers and steam-powered vessels, all the way through to oil and diesel engines, and we're now at the forefront of the research and development and change to enable us to move very quickly to zero carbon propelled vessels. At the helm, Sir Michael Bibby, sailing his Liverpool-based family company into uncharted waters, not for the first time in its centuries-old history. We see the change to zero carbon as the next big change in propulsion technology, and it's happening a lot, lot quicker than previous changes from sail to steam or steam to oil. We are determined to be at the forefront of that change by bringing together all the different interested parties, such as the government, the regulators, the insurance, the finance, the offshore wind farm operators, and the suppliers who are developing the technology, including the universities, to find the best solution for each individual field uh, going forward. Bibby Marine's service operation vessels provide temporary accommodation for wind farm workers in the middle of the ocean. But though they serve as the greenest of energy producers, like all ships, they're diesel fueled, emitting greenhouse gases. That's why the company's CEO is so ambitious to keep pressing ahead with its zero carbon vessel innovation project. Vessels built today are in the water for 30 years. Uh, we don't want to be waiting another 10, 20 years to build a zero carbon vessel. I think our timeline should be more in the region of five to 10 years, which sounds like an awful long way away, but during the life of a vessel, that's relatively quick. So with the help of government cooperation between businesses, linking up to universities, I think this can be developed and delivered and hit the water, like I say, in five to ten years. Liverpool dominated the global shipping trade in the 19th century, with Bibby playing a major role. Now it's hoping to make maritime history once again by steering the shipping industry into a decarbonised future. Bibby's Wavemaster Zero C project is looking at a variety of alternative zero carbon fuels. At Liverpool's Maritime Museum, one Bibby marine engineer told me what they're hoping to achieve. The Wavemaster Zero C project will be looking at five alternative fuels uh, best suited for fueling the next generation of service operation vessels. These are hydro-treated vegetable oil, ammonia, hydrogen, methanol, and a full electric battery solution. And these will be evaluated not only looking at the technical feasibility, but also at safety, landside infrastructure, environmental credentials, but also the business case. For us as an SOV operator, it allows us to inherently understand what we can do today and tomorrow to transition towards a green future. And across the company, there's a clear ambition for rapid change. I've sailed various types of vessels, various sizes as well, and obviously they all utilised uh, heavy fuel oils, you know, and that contributes quite considerably to, you know, carbon emissions. With the project that we're partaking in now, um, not only does it obviously incorporate the passive designs, it also incorporates infrastructure and port design, which will allow different types of vessels, different sizes of vessels to be designed in such a capacity that they can utilise these port facilities, which will overall decrease the carbon emissions. Bibby Marine supports government regulation to accelerate decarbonisation and is excited for the far-reaching effect this could have, not only for the UK shipping industry, but for global greenhouse gas emissions. As with all these moments, people will follow once you've made the first leap of faith. Uh, there's clearly lots of technical aspects that we're having to work through, but we think as an organisation we can get there probably a lot sooner than what people actually anticipate. Cleaner shipping means we're going to save the world from carbon emissions. And we're gonna do that 
by employing new technology with new fuels in new ways to be greener, better, cleaner. Ambitious? Certainly. But Bibi Marine is adamant that now is the time for the government to set the table so they and others can maximise the huge potential presented by the green transition. A call to action from a company that, when it comes to innovation, has always been ahead of its time.